To a Hamilton murder trial now, Richard Taylor's ex-wife testified today that she thought everything was fine with her finances when they were together and thought it was a scam when debt collectors began calling her. The man standing trial for murder was the one who handled the finances in their family. As Kelly Botello tells us, the Crown is trying to prove he killed his parents because he was facing financial ruin. Evangelia Taylor, seen here in the blue shirt leaving John Sapinka Courthouse today, is now separated from Richard Taylor after 13 years of marriage. I thought everything was fine, she testified today, going on to say, I thought we had money in the bank. Evangelia thought they had over $100,000 in the bank. It's what she saw on bank statements that Richard would hand her. Richard Taylor has been charged with two counts of first degree murder in relation to the deaths of his mother mother Carla and stepfather Alan Rutherford. They both died as a result of a 2018 fire at their Dundas home. A fire investigators at the time said was arson. Evangelia testified today that Richard was an excellent father and husband. Because she worked late often, he took care of dinners, activities, and their finances. What she didn't know, the court heard, was that the mortgage on their Oakville home was in default and they were thousands of dollars in debt. When debt collectors called her about $23,000 owing on a credit card that she hadn't used in months, Evangelia Angelia told the court, I thought it was a total scam. Richard said he would handle it and told her there was a problem involving fraud. Because of the issues, she resorted to using only cash that her husband would give her. This went on for two years. In the days before the fire, Evangelia Taylor testified that she was becoming increasingly frustrated, that she still didn't have a bank card or a credit card, and the family was supposed to embark on an international trip in just a few days. Last week, the court heard that police found a yard waste bag at the school where Richard Taylor worked. It was filled with mail, bills, and bank statements, some that were altered. The trial by jury continues tomorrow. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.